Today's topic is devotion. Love is something that everybody feels. We all have love for people and places and things. This is an emotion that Allah Ta'ala created us with. It's one of our strongest motivators. When we love something, love somebody, love some place, we will do a lot to achieve the actualization of that love. If I love my children, then I will make sure that I do whatever I can to manifest that love to them, to show them that I love them. If I love a certain restaurant because their food is delicious, then I'll drive a long way just to make sure that I have that food. And if I love something, I'll save up my hard-earned money just so that I can buy it at some point in time. Allah Ta'ala knows that we have love in our hearts. And He knows that love is such a strong motivator that He tells us through the Prophet Muhammad that love of Allah is the way to gain a successful relationship with Him. The Prophet Muhammad is being instructed by Allah. قُلْ In Surah Ali Imran, chapter number 3, verse 31. قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهِ فَاتَّبِعُونِي The Prophet Muhammad was being told by Allah to tell people that if you claim to love Allah, because this was a claim that people had. When the Prophet came with the message of Islam, he came to people that generally believed in a deity, believed in a God. And they claim to love God. They claim to have love for the deity that they worshipped. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responded to that claim because the Prophet would be teaching them and they would say, well, we love God. We don't need the message. We don't need to change our religion. We already love God the way we are. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told the Prophet say, قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهِ فَاتَّبِعُونِي if you love Allah, then follow me. يُحْبِبَكُمْ Allah. As a result of your following of me, Allah will love you. See, why do we love somebody? We love somebody because we want them to love us back. We want that love to be reciprocated, right? When I tell my son, I love you, I want him to say, Baba, I love you too. Allah is telling us that if you want Allah to say, I love you, then the way to gain the love of Allah primarily is through loving and following the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu يُحْبِبَكُمْ Allah وَيَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبَكُمْ And on top of getting the love of Allah, a result of that statement and a result of that adherence to the Prophet ﷺ is that Allah will forgive you from all of your mistakes, all of your sins. Because the mistakes that we make are not always fixed by how we feel. You know, if I love somebody and I hurt them, I disobey them or I oppress them, me saying to them, you know, I love you, does not erase the oppression that I did. I have to seek their forgiveness. I have to say I'm sorry. And in that moment when I say sorry, it's communicating how much I love them. If I don't love you, I won't apologize. But because I love you, I'm going to humble myself. And I'm going to take a moment to apologize to you and say I'm very sorry for the way that I treated you. And because I love you, it pains me to know that I hurt you. So Allah Ta'ala is saying that if you love Allah and you want to be forgiven for all the mistakes that you've ever made, فَتَّبِعُونِي Follow the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Wallahu ghafoor rahim. And he finishes the ayah by saying, it doesn't matter where you've been. It doesn't matter what you've done or what you've said or the thoughts that you have or the actions that you've done. If you simply live your life trying to follow the best you can, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, then you will obtain the two things that human being needs most. We need this more than food and water. We need this more than the air that we breathe. We need Allah's love. And we need to know that Allah Ta'ala will forgive us. If we can be the recipients of Allah's love and forgiveness, then truly we will have been successful. But if we live our life in a way that is seeking anything else but those two things, it doesn't matter how many accomplishments we have, the result is inevitably a failure. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us His love and to grant us the ability to obtain His love and to be eligible for His love. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us for our shortcomings. Ameen. Qalam is dedicated to the mission of making the knowledge of this beautiful religion of Islam accessible to everyone. From the millions of people listening to the podcast, to the hundreds of thousands of people watching these videos, to the tens of thousands of people that are taking online classes, and so much more work that Qalam is doing, we here at Qalam are committed to continuing this good work. And this is where you come in. We're asking you to partner with us to secure your sadaqah jariya of all the people that have benefited from Qalam, continue to learn from Qalam, and inshallah, in the future, we'll continue to learn and benefit from all the work that Qalam, inshallah, will continue to do. Please go to supportqalam.com 
and donate generously. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from all of us. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.